Hello there again, Stage 3 Astro vs. Atlas. I have not played this for a while. The Kinsin Kaku have finally been captured thanks to Astro! Astro! And happily, the mysterious robot book has been repaired by Dr. Oshi! And now Astro has been asked to go to the moon! The moon! Of all places! Yep, the moon, you know, that satellite orbiting the Earth! That thing in the sky! Yes! It all started when... We are almost at the moon, Astro! Puke sure is a mystery, he sure is, that little boy. Little fella him, he was already pairing himself before I even laid a hand on him. What a clever little fella he is. He must have the ability to repair himself. He's cooler than you in that aspect, Astro. His advanced supermolecular structure must be used in Tano technology. That's something you don't have, Astro. Sorry to disappoint you. This technology is light here, yet light years ahead of our own. And stuff. Once he's all better, he may be able to tell us about it. He probably won't though, he's probably a little prick. He said something about earlier about saving me. Moo moo, motherfucker. Mew, that civilization fell in the ocean 30,000 years ago. I don't want you to know anything about that. Interesting, but we have more important pressing matters to attend to, a little Astro Man. Astro Boy. Will you explain the situation, Mr. Tokugawa? Of course. Let me eat the chicken first, though. Mount Nana. Two days ago, there was a hostile takeover of my moon planet. Plant. Moon plant. We don't have much staff since the site is still under construction. It's like being constructed and shit still. Can't do nothing. But whoever did it, they took my son Daichi, who's the director. As a hostage. They are little sneaky little sons of bitches, aren't they? They want Astro from the Science Ministry in exchange for my son. They can have Astro, I don't give a shit, I want my son back. I treat is my only son, I just don't know what to do. Oh fuck. He's from my nut. I want them back. What would they want from me? Maybe it's like a creepy old guy and that's what they want them. You know, take them to their little special dungeon. I don't know why, but we must make every escrow. Every effort to rescue Daichi. This dude always looks fucking irritated. Good luck, Astro. And he's like fucking scheming. He looks like a fucking... You know, scheming asshole prick guy. This is my son Daichi. It's a Tokugawa plant. Or something. And this is the blueprint of the plant. It's a plant. It's like organic and shit. They said to meet them at the Grand Observatory in the upper right. Up here where the yellow dot thing is up by the dumb kid's head. But you must be careful as you make your way up there. Wait, I'm telling you the wrong way. Plant's still under construction, so there are many unsafe areas. Like the cafeteria. That's where I like to hang out. You'll find me there. Artificial gravity device is broken. It'll be tough to, tough to fix. And on with the show. The part that you tuned in for, the, um, 
cream salty filling of the cake that you tuned in for. Yes, Astro Boy. See, I was going to try to fly up here. I couldn't remember if I added more jets, but I guess I didn't add more jets. From the blueprints, it looked like that there was something up top. So, when I uh, do the second run of the game, I guess I can go up there when I have upgraded jets and shit. So, what better time to pick up on Astro Boy where I last left off and uh, do some more Astro Boy? Cause it's been maybe a month or so at this point. Um, last time I did Astro Boy, um, I kind of fucked up. Because I was trying to test out screen recorders and just, you know, stuff to record gameplay. Because, hey, I was having a lot of problems at the time that was slowing down my progress of doing um, Game Boy Advance games. And it was just all shitting up on me. So I was like, you know what, let me find a screen recorder. Fuck it, let's see if anything works. Unfortunately, all the ones that I tested were shit and they really weren't doing what I really wanted them to do. Like the one that, cause I don't, my dumbass tested the screen recorders out on this damn game. I don't know why I picked this damn game to fuck up, but I picked this damn game to fuck up, all right? Oh, and unfortunately I can't skip the guys. So anyway, like I was saying, what better time to pick up and do Astro Boy again, which I've not done in a while, than when I got the day I got my car fixed or something. I don't know if it's fixed, I'm gonna see how it runs for a few days. If it keeps fucking up, well, you know, then we know it's something else, I guess. But otherwise, we know it's fixed down. I, my car has not been running for a while. Or shall I say a bit? It's funny, because when every time I say a while, my boss is like, well, by a while, I'm thinking you mean like 10 years, because at my old age of 40-something years old, um, a while is like 5 or 10 years. So, I'm going to say, okay, a month, I'm going to say, okay, I haven't had a vehicle that has been running for a month. And unfortunately, I've missed a lot of great shows over the past month. Let's see, first of all, the, when my car started fucking up right before it, like, literally the week of, Wu-Tang Clan came through town on January. So, let's see, I want to say, beginning of January, my started car, car started fucking up. What a great way to enter the fucking year, then my car to start being a piece of shit. So, it runs now. Cool. Then, um, what else? Then I missed... Oh, I can't even remember everything that I missed, but I do remember DJ Mark Farina on a Friday. Then on a Saturday, Typical Cats, Quasar, Quell and Maker, the entire uh, Galapagos 4 fam in Chicago. Missed that. Uh, and then the day after that, Cool Keith came through town. And it's been too long. Well, I've wanted to see Cool Keith for many years now. Five, six years, some shit like that. Been digging that shit for a good of many years now. Um, fortunately, I missed it. Then what else came through town? Um, and then tonight, the night I get my car fixed, that it runs, Zion I come through fucking town at the bottom lounge on February 12th. Well, great, awesome. I, that, Zion I is easily one of the mo my most favorite groups that I've played in this that I've listened to in this past year. I went to see Zion Eye and the Grouch last year, and they had, um, let me see, Verbal Kent and something, something, uh, Jazz Quintet Shotgun Wedding or something like that. And they were pretty cool. I was actually impressed. I was feeling it because I've been getting a lot more into the jazz and jazz hip-hop over the past maybe two years at this point. That was some great shit. And then they had one below, which is easily another one of my favorite MCs. I'm pissed that I didn't listen to him before with him and Binary Star. But right now I'm running out of time. I'm picking up in another video. So I want to thank you for watching, like, and subscribing. I shall see you in the... when I see you. Bye.